Hello mud lovers, I'm here with an old git <laughs> and I can call him an old git because that's his Instagram name he's at old git, at tell old git isn't it? More or less. Yeah, so yeah. He's, a, he's a good friend of mine and we're going on some permission today you can see behind you, it's all lovely and ploughed, ready, ready for us we're going to do a bit of a challenge today, I've done this uh, land quite a bit so it's pretty pretty well done but Terry's got his Equinox down there and I've got my trusty Deus so we're going to do a bit of a challenge, Deus versus Equinox and see how we how we fare and we'll let you know what we find. Also I'm going to show you a little bit about this history of land, we're going to have a quick look around the corner, there's some quite some interesting old gravestones which have been left behind. There used to be a church on this land years and years ago, uh, but what happened is the history of it is the, the local lord decided he didn't want to walk very far, so they took the church down and moved it a couple of miles up the road. So there used to be a church laying there. So I've had a few things out in the past, a few crotal bells, there's been hammers come up, um, and some William sixpences, some Georgian. So it's all sort of mixture of ages. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can find some good stuff. Let's find some luck in the muck. So I told you that it used to be an old church. Well, what they've done is taken uh, the, the church itself, but left all the gravestones. And you can see here, there's a few graves there, and if I take you just down here, oh, you see all these old gravestones, Tell? That's really cool. Look at them all. I've loved them in my garden. <laughs> oh, I wish you wouldn't like it, but I would. Yeah, look, and you can see that there's oh. all these gravestones here. So obviously we're right in the fact that there used to be a church. And you can see that you can look at a few... 1855. Yeah. So all, all uh, Victorian of age, but I know they few of them go back. And there's a few here as well. Look, you can yeah, see there's a, the old, a lot of older ones. Yeah, yeah. John, John, someone. Uh, and look, you've got the date just there where you said 1777. Is it 17? Oh, 77 years. 77 years. Date. Is that there? That. Look what we're doing to the wildlife. Uh, of. So yeah, departed this life the 10th of June 1779, wow. age 77, well, and look, there's loads more. So obviously they've left in a bit of a hurry, but left all the gravestones behind. So yeah, interesting little place, there's got to be some history here. Uh, 1866, age 10. Oh, sad. They didn't. They didn't live very long, did they? Back in the day, they had a, a lot of them had a That's short life. Guy, yeah. So there we go. Look. And in, and in there, there's, there's some even more. There's a few old, a few old graves in there as well. Yeah, iron railings where the more important people probably were laid to rest. But we're not going to go in there because that's uh, consecrated. That's consecrated ground in there, so we're not going to go in there. We're just going to stick to the ploughed field, and it all surrounds this little area. So. Yeah, hopefully we can find a few bits and bobs. Grave digging boot. Yeah, so we're just having a little look in this little foresty bit and we've just seen... Find the other one, I'll have them. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's an old boot as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's all got a moss on it as well. Yeah. But there's little bits of remnants of graves everywhere. Yeah. Oh, that Maybe that's some kind of um, crypt. Who knows? Yeah, it's all the leftover bits of the church. Interesting to look at. Go on, that man. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yes, it's, yes. Well done. Wow, look. But your your name's Old Git because that's the name of your cycling cycling club, yes. isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm not being not rude. Because I'm an old Git. Yeah. <laughs> But you, uh, your other passion is obviously metal detecting. You've had a few finds, good finds in the yeah. past, haven't you? I hope. So uh, he's an experienced detectorist. Yeah, so uh, with this so much. <laughs> second time out with this. Oh, second time out. Well, also you've got yourself a pro pointer. Yeah. Uh, but I've left mine. Well, actually, but I lent mine to someone and I, I forgot to get it back. So you can't have it. No, it's unfortunately. <laughs> there we go. You've got the uh, the novice of that machine. But and I've, I know the day is pretty well. But again, I haven't got a pro pointer, so. I'll probably be digging, taking my time over my over my signals. 
But anyway, let's chat in and we'll find in. Let's go and see what we can find, yeah? Sweet. Let's do this. <laughs> I mean, the trouble with this is, because it's been freshly ploughed, there's quite a few air pockets. So you might not quite get the depth that you want because there's so much air in between all the soil. But on the other hand, it's all been turned over. So this means that it could be like a new field, generally speaking. Don't forget your, um, your spades right there. <laughs> you ain't got steel toe caps on, have you? <laughs> Oh, is that a little bit of a... Uh, bit of crap. Just a bit of crap. A little bit of um, aluminium or a thin bit of lead. Tin or something. Tin. Oh well. So, signal here. Maybe not that strong a signal, but... In the middle. Ah. Yeah, that's it. That'll do it. Piece of a chain link. Yeah. Off of a, I don't know, anything, a bit of farming machinery probably. Iron. Spot the find. Oh, side yeah. The side of the clod. There we go. First coin of the day. Yeah. Undecipherable. Copper apron, I guess. Georgian. Yeah. Yeah, no, almost. I think yeah. that's his nose there, yeah. Am I seeing his nose? I don't know. Oh, maybe not. Anywho. Yeah. Of no, course, it's like they find, hopefully, hopefully find, find some more. Yeah. Just found a little bead in the middle of the field. I think it's probably plastic, but... Eyes only. Well, two is on a roll. We just had a Vicky Penny. And they just had this. Yeah, well, Vicky Penny. Vicky Penny. Original yeah. one, Vicky Penny. And whatever that is. One in the clod. Oh, go on then, poke her out, let's have a look. Well, so far, you're smashing it in terms of coins. Yep, stuff on it. So, the Britannia. And there's another Vicky. Vicky Halfpenny this time. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, nice condition nice that. Right. Well done, mate, that's pretty good. Well, there's still coins coming up after all these years, so... Huh. Where's the gold at? <laughs> it's a nice piece of pottery in this field, look. The rim of a pot there. Terry's just found something with his eyes only. I think, or did you get a signal and look down? Not a signal, but it's on the top. Down there. Oh yeah, cool. A mount of some yeah. sort. You ready yeah. for this? Yeah, 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 go oh, for it. Nearly lost it. Ooh. Oh. That's nice. What do you think? For leather or furniture? Yeah, probably leather actually, the way they, it sort yeah. of tapers off at the end. Yeah, found nice. quite a few crotal bells here in the past as well, so it would suggest that there's uh, yeah. horsey related. Yeah. yeah, nice one. A bit different. Who's having all the luck today? Terry! And he just had this little uh, early bit of glass. It's the bottom of a little file that would have been used for medicine or something. Yeah, nice and early. Nice kick up at the bottom there. Quite thin glass. I'm not sure, I'm not really sure on age. Maybe uh, 17th, 18th. Maybe a bit earlier. It's nice, eh? Oh, what you got? Iron nail. Oh, right. You go with your iron horseshoe. <laughs> Big beast, isn't it? Yeah. Well, the rain's really coming down a bit now, but I have found a little coin. Not sure what one it is yet. 
copper with these things. I see a 10 on it, so it looks like it's fairly modern. Yeah, I'll have to clean that one up and um, let you know. I think it's a foreign coin, I don't, I don't recognise it. Um, but I'd, I'd say it's relatively modern because um, there's a bit of a it's quite thick. Anyway, it's interesting. I haven't found one like that before, so it'd be cool to find out what that is. It's another horseshoe. A little bit diddier this time. And Terry looks like he's getting signals. Uh, it's really hammering it down now. It's deep. So it's another coin up. It's like a shilling to me. It's a silver, silver of, well, it'll be a silver coloured coin. It's probably only 20% silver and the rest nickel or something like that, but. This is one of the very first coins ever found that got me into the hobby. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty looking coin actually when it's all nice and clean, so I'll make an attempt to clean it and show you, show you what it's like clean. Nice, um, nice big old coin. And I'll make that three coins to me, and three coins to Mr Equinox over there, so maybe the next coin is going to win it, if we're doing it by the most amount of coins, I don't know, but um, yeah, however you judge these competitions. You know, could it be most amount of fines or most amount of coins? I don't know, but um, we'll find a way to make the day a swim. As Terry's over there, and I'm over here, he looks like he might have found something, and so have I. Got a little coin in the clod. Just see it there. Break it open and have a look. Oh, it's quite tough. There we go. Yeah. Well, it just looks like a bent piece of copper. It's got that kind of love token look where it might have been actually made into a love token. Whether it's silver or not, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it is silver. It's got like, might have a little glint to it there, look. I'm going to give it a little wash and um, we can have a little update, but it looks like it's a love token because it looks like it's almost bent into an S shape ever so slightly, which would suggest it was uh, maybe like a William um, love token, you know, at the, at the most interesting, otherwise it might just be a blank copper half penny or something, but clean it up and let you know. Well, after a quick clean, you can definitely see it's silver, which is a result, I'm well happy with that. It might even be a hammered, I don't know. There's something on the other side there, which uh, I'm going to have to give it a better clean up. I don't really recognise it as being a hammered, but I can see a little two. I mean, I, my my thoughts are it might, it was, it's probably a William uh, William II um, sixpence that's been worn flat. But that's a decent find. Nice bit of age to it, and obviously it's silver, so... Happy days, and it's coin number four, so unless Terry has found another coin, the Deus is winning it by one coin, so, hey. <laughs> right, so we're back of the car now, these are the finds that we've had today. Uh, we we'll start off with what Terry's found, what you got there, Tell? Four coins. And they are? George the Fifth Penny, yep. a Vicky Penny, uh -huh. a Vicky Haypenny, Vicky Dake. and some strange Georgian type Haypenny with nothing on it at all. It is. Piece of broken glass, a uh, lovely bit of pottery, hmm. uh, a little head bullet, nice. Uh, four buttons or five buttons. Okay, yeah, that's like a Roman, didn't it, for a second? I bet you yeah. got a little bit. Well, I did think it was some sort of coinage, yeah. And yeah. the little leather mount, which we're seeing, yeah. And shrapnel, yeah. anti aircraft shrapnel, and another piece of pot, and a, and a lid off of a bottle. 
Is it a sauce bottle or something? Oh, yeah, fruit, fruit, uh, <coughs> fruit beverages and supplies of fruit beverages to the king. Oh, to the king. So that must mean this has got to make this, um, well, George the sixth or Edward the seventh or something like that. So we're talking like nineteen twenties, aren't we? Nineteen thirties or forties? Kicking around. Forties, fifties. Let me just think. Yeah, forties. Treasure. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so I just kept all my aluminium that I found because it just goes in my pocket. But I think there must have been a plane crash or something around here because it's a little bit military. Maybe that's the bullet hole where, uh, you know, he got shot down if it is in fact a plane. I don't know. But there's loads of that sort of stuff. Uh, four coins as well. So if it's four coins each, I think we make it a tie with the old Deus versus Equinox um, competition. Good to me. So that's fair enough, and yeah, that coin you saw in the field, we think, oh, I think it might be a William. Yeah. Uh, do you reckon well, that might be a um, little love token there? Yeah, yeah. Little, I little, think, little I love think token. It most likely is, yeah. Yeah. So um, I mean, I can't recognise it off the top of my head. I mean, I haven't found, you know, um, this one particularly before, so I'll have to double check that. But yeah, happy with that. Yeah, that bead turns out to be a glass bead, so not quite as um, modern as I thought. But yeah, to see a bead on the field, you know. Pretty, pretty amazing if I to spot that. Um, yeah, more shrapnel there, another button, and two big old lumps of horseshoe. These are scraps of lead, and some more pottery and some shotties, and also a clay pipe stem, which is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it might be the part of the same, yeah, part of the same jug or something like that, you know, yeah, like that perhaps. Yeah, look, no, almost fits. So yeah, we, I mean, look, we, we didn't, there was plenty more pottery that we didn't pick up and roof tiles and stuff. So the land's got quite a bit of age. So yeah, all in all, a good day. I mean, my top find is my uh, my little silver coin there. And uh, yeah, good day. Thanks, Terry, for uh, having me, mate. And, uh, pleasure. Enjoyed. Excellent. And check him out on Instagram. He's got a very good Instagram page, and all his detecting finds will be on there. Well, that's it. Hope you like our adventures, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't done, and uh, follow Terry and me on Instagram. Yeah.